Uh, one of SNK's games that was kind of a hit back in 1981 was uh, was Vanguard, which was a uh, a scrolling shmup that started horizontal, then kind of went diagonal, then vertical. It used a joystick and four buttons that fired in four different directions. It was uh, it was a pretty cool game. I like Vanguard. In 1984, they released Vanguard 2. I didn't even know there was a Vanguard 2 before Mame. I never saw. I never saw a cabinet for Vanguard 2. Vanguard 2 takes the series in a completely different direction. As it is no longer an automatic uh, scrolling shmup moving in uh, in different directions. Instead, it's free roaming. It's a. Uh, it's certainly a concept that. Uh, I got revisited for a few games, but it doesn't really have much to do with the original Vanguard, as far as I know. Like, it just kind of... It's just a completely different game. Is it good, though? <laughs> I hate that font. So yeah, I suppose it's SNK wanting to make a Bosconian like. Except guess what? You've got an air shot and you've got a ground shot. Just like Xevious. I think we're at like three Xevious mentions for the stream so far. Your score is best five. I didn't do anything yet. <laughs> I made it in the best five. Yeah, there's a Vanguard too. Did you know there's a Marble Madness too? Anyway, this game I do not I do not know this game well at all. I just know you gotta you gotta blow up pods and then uh destroy the central core and uh Remember me coming this, coming across to the main and being confused by what I'm supposed to do? I'm still confused as to what I'm supposed to do. Yo, I asked thank you for the quarter. Alright. Destroy ten pods in order to attack the central core. Ding! Okay, so we have to destroy... Uh, oh my god. Destroy those things. So you destroy, like... Packs of those, and then those destroy like other stuff. Is that a wall? No. So you hit like the targets in the middle, and those destroy other things. Is there? I I very very faintly hear music. I think. I like how most of these enemies are just vibing. They're not actually trying to kill me. 42 pods to go. Are we having fun yet? Oh, they got me. Whoosh. So my problem with this is that it's very... I mean, it's like Xevious. You have to be like... Oh, really precise with your, uh, your ground shots. Central core is up here. Huh? Oh, that thing killed me. <clears throat> oh, that didn't count. I got it. Super pod, power pod, major silos. Oh. Oh. Ding! So you don't have to destroy all the pods. You just have to destroy like in this stage. You have to blow up twenty, and then you get to just, to fight the uh, the main thing. Although I guess you can you can keep destroying more pods for like a bigger bonus. And I think that's what you have to do for score. 
You know, if you're a sicko that plays Vanguard 2 for score. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to destroy these things like connecting the... Oh. I froze in the, uh, the air for a second. This seems like it would be tedious. Yeah? <laughs> a little bit. Game over. Why is the high score 30,000 if... Oh. Another game with no rub. How could they just cram the letters into that that thing? All right, let me try. Uh, let me try this on stick. Maybe it'll be a little easier. I've been really lazy in playing everything on pad. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I think I'd rather play Vanguard One. Kind of see why this one didn't take off. Oh, come on, man. Reset. Ding! I will destroy all the pods. It's weird because, like... A lot of the flying enemies don't really, like, do much, but then one of them will decide to do something. But it's more the ground enemies that are more of a threat than anything else. Oop. Like that. Okay. It's just really hard to aim this fucking ground shot. At least the hitbox on, like, your ground shot is, like, kind of, kind of forgiven. Like, if it hits just, like, anything around, it gives you, it gives you credit for it, which I guess is nice. Now and then I'm able to like make the, the ship freeze up. Is there a button to speed up the ship? It is only two buttons, unless the start button does something. It does not. Yeah, I like when enemies just spawn and kill me. Because then that means I'm not playing Vanguard 2 anymore. I gotta destroy 20 pods, I've destroyed like five. There we go. That, that was only two? Yeesh. I feel like I should just keep firing the laser no matter what. God damn it, I was trying to shoot that thing. Maybe get it down to like 92 or 72. Okay, I'm making progress. God, <laughs> fucking destroy Central Core. Game over. <laughs> Good. Uh, I like how the I like how the letter like spins around like that. I don't know, are there any better strats for this? <laughs> Where are my Vanguard 2 experts at?
This is not a game that uh, has been played all that much. I've been avoiding the super pause. I'm trying to blow up pods. I'm trying to blow up things. What's the difference between the pods and the super pods? I'm trying to blow things up, it's just... <laughs> okay, wh wh what's a super pod? That? I thought by like shooting the things that connect them, it's gonna like blow everything else up. Like that one? Okay. All right, where's the super pod? There's one. I see. I guess it is faster. Okay. Super pod, power pod, major s- okay. Ding. Alright, that's like five. What? Cool. Thanks, game. <laughs> All right. You spend so much time worrying about the uh, the enemies flying around that there's like, whoa, there's shit in the ground that will just point blank you with no warning. Like, there's all these things on the ground there, and I don't know like when one of them is gonna shoot. Any of those could fire at any any given moment. And I have no way to predict that. Alright, where's the core? Did you give me a radar or something? I can't find the core. God damn it! Keep going up. Fucking. Oh, I got an extra life. Alright, I would like to destroy a central core. I love to destroy a central core. One of my favorite things in life is destroying the central core, but I have to find it. Is it? <laughs> God damn it, Morse. Okay, um. I like how level two is just fucking impossibly huge. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, the core should be in the center, right? That would make sense. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> Bruh. This 
was right there. Right where? I don't know about this game. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of shit going on. Everything fucking looks gray and and drab. Well, I guess if you spend time learning the levels, yeah, maybe it's not so bad. Gonna, if you actually know where the cores are, where the big central core is, but mm. it's very. Uh... <laughs> mm. This is very unsatisfying to play because. It doesn't really feel like you're... I like how the demo just gave up and went into went into space. You don't you don't have good control because the way like you you rotate around is kind of makes it hard to like hit anything within a. Uh... Look, I'm sorry, River Vap. I didn't see it. Okay, Jesus. I didn't think I was getting Vanguard two backseated. Look at these fucking stages, it's all gray and blue. I'm doing a pull. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't see the core, there's a lot of drab shit happening on the screen. Anyway. Vanguard 2. <laughs> oh boy. I was gonna say, it just doesn't feel satisfying to like do anything. It's so hard to it's so hard to hit stuff with the uh the bomb. If something, you know, if something's like within that range, then you have to like, you have to like back up and get some room. Uh, Joseph Corwin, thank you for the seventy-six months. Much appreciated. Uh, all right, make sure I click the right button this time. Seventy-two percent gave it a two. I can in good conscience give us a one. <laughs> it's it's trying something. It's trying something that that wasn't done too often other than Bosconian at the time. Maybe there's some sauce to it, maybe there's some tech. But again, I don't like I don't like being sniped by uh, by these ground enemies just popping up and shooting you. So I will give it a two. It seems like a very very two game. <laughs> but yeah, the the one hundred thirty thousand on Marp seems seems kind of low. I would have expected, like, somebody to, like, some Japanese lore master to fucking break this game apart, but... Nah, nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, Bosconian had a radar to show you where the bases were. What a concept. <laughs> 